Hello out there YouTube. What's going on guys? It is D Don here back again with some more Black Ops 3 gameplay. You know, real quickly, I actually want to talk about Call of Duty for just a minute here. Um, so we have the new contracts now through that they finally implemented halfway through Black Ops 3's life cycle. Uh, and I've been loving it. Uh, personally, I, I don't really care about the challenges themselves. To be honest, I don't really care. What I really, really enjoy is, I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but more people are playing TDM and Black Ops 3 than ever before. And I think that's just because people are tired of getting, uh, solo players are tired against of playing against parties all the time because of the team balancing issues. Um, well, I wouldn't really call it an issue, but just the way team balancing is in this game. I think solo players and objective game modes are just tired of playing so they switch to TDM because it's a lot easier there's no objective play you just kill a lot of people really quickly but with these new contracts all of the weekly challenges are based off of objective uh, game modes so there's a lot more players playing domination who haven't been playing and I have been thriving as of recently um, I actually went on a streak where I got three straight games with nuclears which is weird because previous to that I'd only had I think I think I only had two or three at that point and then three games in a row I drop a nuclear one was a haymaker with no attachments one was uh, like a three or four different weapon nuclear and one was uh, with like a rapid fire VMP class running uh, hater wraps and GI units so um, also in there I have two 120 plus kill gameplays like I haven't had that much time to game and I've just been dropping some really nice gameplays so I hope you guys enjoy those um, today uh, now that we've gotten the Call of Duty talk out of the way um, I want to talk about two things that have happened to me in these last couple months uh, that are kind of a big deal I mean, they're personal things, but I think they're interesting to share. So I will, thought I would share with you guys, my great subscribers here. So um, the first thing is I quit smoking, which is awesome. And the second thing is that I finally gave in and shaved my head because I'm I'm going bald. It's it's happening and it's real. Um, and the two are unrelated. So let's talk about me quitting, quit smoking first. Um, so first of all, I... I Okay, so I smoked tobacco products, and I still smoke some tobacco products, but I mean, I smoke like once, a, like I'll smoke a cigar, or I'll smoke my pipe once every few months. Um, I wasn't smoking cigarettes, I was smoking this Middle Eastern tobacco called Doha. You can Google it if you want to, because I don't want to explain it in this video. It's spelled D-O-K-H-A, Doha. Um, and anyway, it's a very special pipe tobacco. It has a very, very high nicotine content. It's a lot of fun, it's very relaxing, and I smoked it and I loved it. Um, the thing was, is that um, it used to be a very casual thing, you know, because um, I, I didn't smoke around my house, but I would smoke in the bathroom because it has a vent, has ventilation, so you know, I'm not, you know, giving my wife secondhand smoke and stuff like that. And, um, so I would smoke in there, you know, taking a poop, you know, so a couple times a day. Um, but then, you know, once, you know, having kids and, you know, trying really hard for promotions, a lot of work stress going on, I felt myself getting really stressed out a lot. And I felt that <clears throat> I had started using smoking as an excuse to kind of get away and just be by myself in the bathroom and just smoke and it kind of lost the casual enjoyment for me of smoking and I, I didn't like that because I felt like it had become you know a true addiction as opposed to like a casual something that I could just do and enjoy at my leisure so I quit smoking um, and then also like I said I am for sure a hundred percent going bald which wasn't a surprise um, balding runs in my family my brother was completely bald by the time he was like 21. I'm 27, and I can't remember what it, what they were of, but I just was looking through some pictures, and I realized like, man, like you can see straight through my hair into my scalp. Like it is looking pretty thin, and 
I can give you guys the best advice. If you're looking at your hairline and you're thinking to yourself like, eh, I think I can hold on to it a little bit longer, you can't. Just, you, you can't. I promise you, there is almost no guy out there who looks better with thin hair than no hair. Like, hands down, if you're just looking desperate, trying to like spike up a little tuft of hair that you got in your head, just just quit it. Just quit it. I promise you, you will look way better. So, you know, I buzzed my hair down. My wife wasn't really too super stoked at first. And I convinced her to let me do it, but she wanted me to do it at a level three guard, which is like, you know, like, I don't know, half an inch, three quarters of an inch long. And uh, it just, it grew out too, too quickly and looked too stupid too fast. So finally, I got her convinced and I've been doing a one guard, which is a very short, like just stubble. And you know, I'm, uh, I look a lot better with short hair than I do with really thin, longer hair. So I've been I've been making some good strides in my life. I quit smoking. I finally accepted and really embraced the fact that I'm going bald. And I've actually been in the process of getting back in shape. When I was in college, I was in exceptional shape. I had probably like a eight or nine percent body fat. I was very very lean. Um, very active and now that the kids are growing up a little bit um you know they're sleeping through the night and everything i can finally get back on the uh on the fitness grind i've been running a lot well not a lot but i've been running again and i've also been working out a little bit so you know quit smoking i accepted my baldness and i started working out again before too long i might look decent and halfway of what I looked when I first wet, met my wife and then she might be proud of me again. That's just a joke. We have an awesome marriage, but uh, you know, the dad life is taking its toll. And my five minute video has turned into a seven minute video, so I'm gonna wrap it up here. I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. I hope you guys enjoyed whatever video uh, was playing in the background. I would love to get your guys' opinions on the contracts in Black Ops 3. Let me know, do you think they're a great idea, bad idea, awesome idea? Um, or if you don't care at all. Like I said, I don't care, but it's it, the game is more fun playing against people who don't know what they're doing. Of course, as always, that's the point of Call of Duty, killing lots of people really quickly. So anyway, again, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave me some comments. Let me know what's up. Talk to me. Um, links are in the description if you want to check those out. And if you're new to my channel and you really enjoyed the video, um, feel free to hit that subscribe button and uh, and uh, I would really appreciate it. And of course, to all of you who watched the video this far, I really appreciate your time. Hope you guys have a great day. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.